Welcome to the live stream. Today we'll be talking about the tank behind us and also answering some of your questions. And I'm kidding. This isn't a live stream. Today it's a regular video, but we're just testing out some angles for future live streams to come. Uh, but we are going to be talking about this tank and I will answer your questions in the comments section down below. This tank has been in this room for the last, I think, over a month. Uh, since it was moved and I haven't done a water change. I haven't done anything whatsoever to this tank except feed the fish and today we'll be doing the first maintenance. You can see that the water level has gone down quite a bit. We'll do some close-ups and there's been a bit of algae growth on the glass but the good news is that there hasn't been any stubborn algae like hair algae or blackbeard algae or blue-green algae. There hasn't been any of that so I haven't had to worry at all but today I just want to get the glass looking clean, trim up a few plants and show you how this tank is doing. So from a distance it probably doesn't look that bad but if if you look up close, there's a bunch of algae on the bottom half of the glass and I really want to clean that up and it shouldn't be too difficult. We'll use a sponge as well as a razor blade in the bits that are a bit harder but I think it shouldn't be too tough. And one problem I've been having with this tank is snails. I've just, I haven't been feeding this tank so much. I skip feeding days quite a bit um, but you can see like we get a bunch of these snails and I don't know what type of the, what type of snail this is so if you know in the comment section down below please comment I'll get some close-up shots of this. We've got some ram's horn snails in here which I really like but then this other type of snail I have no clue what it is. Um, at first I thought they were Malaysian trumpet snails since they came up at night, but now I'm seeing they're like all over the place and I, I do think we might have trumpet snails in here too, but yeah, I'm not sure what this thing is because I've got a bunch of this in my other tank as well and I might have introduced it into this tank. so. Yeah, help me out in the comments below. So we'll start off by using the melamine sponge to wipe off all this algae and the ones, the spots that we're unable to, we'll use the razor, which I'll show you later. Alright, so you can see it's looking a lot cleaner. The water is now a little bit uh, cloudy from all that scrubbing. Um, but now it's time to get out the razor because in these bottom areas there's quite a bit of algae still on the glass and it's hard to get that off just using the sponge and you don't want to get the sponge into the gravel or if you have sand you don't want to get the the sponge touching the sand because you can get sand or gravel um, stuck in between the glass and the sponge and can cause scratches so now it's time to use the razor. And now it's the next day. You can see how clear the water is, how nice this tank is looking. In my opinion, the day after you do a water change, the tank always looks better because the day of the water change, it'll be the water will be a little bit cloudy. Like if you see the footage from yesterday, it was quite murky, and that's because I was stirring up all the gravel and all that gunk, all that debris was going like floating all over the place and it, it just wasn't a pleasant sight so I always think um, in my experience the day after a water change 
um, the tank looks at its best and it's so clear. You can see the fish are really really active. They're so fun to watch and always a joy to feed and the plants are doing well. There's still a few more plants I want to add into this tank um, but yeah this this centerpiece plant is just my favorite, the Crinum calamistratum. It's the only plant that's not a cryptocorin in this tank. Um, and then this plant here, I'm hoping it'll grow bigger. It's Cryptocorin spiralis tiger, this red color plant. And it should grow a little bit taller than that. So hopefully we'll have that space filled up. But all in all, I think this tank is doing really well. So, in the past, I would always, like, rinse my bloodworms, but, I don't know, I, I don't know if it makes a difference. Um, I think you can do it if you want to, if you want to rinse them out, you can, but if you don't want to, I guess it's alright as well. I'm not sure if there's a right or wrong answer. Let me know your opinions in the comments below. Um, but this bloodworm here is also a clean type, like, it's packaged, I don't know how true it is, but they've cleaned it out and it's uh, much cleaner than the regular blood. It's also a little bit more pricey, but, I don't know, the fish seem to enjoy it. I believe two cubes was a little bit too much for those rainbows, so we're giving the rest. I pulled out um, as much as I could from that tank and we're giving the rest of the angel fish. Look at these guys. These guys are doing pretty awesome. Three week update of the immersed plants. If you haven't seen the setup video of this, I'll link it right up here. But here we go, look at the growth here. Amazing immersed growth on these rotalas. Most of them are rotalas because those are the plants that I've got most of. This one here is Micranthrum umbrosum. Also pearl weed, I think, pearl grass, pearl weed. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then here we've got another rotala, rotundifolia type, the Fujian. And here we've got rotala flower. And then down below, this one's not doing too well, but it's a mixed few different types. Over here, another Rotala. You can see how much Rotala grows. Rotala, one of the best growing plants. This one's not doing too well. I think the condition that it was in when I got it wasn't too good, so yeah, it's a slow starter. So remember that four foot crypt tank used to sit right here. Now we've got a little sofa and things are starting to change. It's looking really good, but also a little bit messy right now because I've been playing around with some stuff. Also, some of the immersed plants in the smaller containers are doing well, slowly growing in this warm season. Let's take a look at the Ludwigius phyrocarpus. So I planted two in here. One actually uh, died away because I think it was too weak to begin with, but the other one has been growing really really nicely so there's the one that you can see just died off but yeah looking pretty good pretty happy with the growth of this one and I give them some air daily I open it up and then close it give them a little spray down of some water but yeah I can't believe the transformation though it's starting to all come together and starting to look really really nice. You can see these two tanks coming along really nicely. The colors are just so nice, especially on that one. Uh, yeah, and then we've got the Dua Shizuku that we set up last video, also doing quite alright. And then this whole rack. Soon we'll be doing a fish room tour, a whole tour probably next video or the video after. I hope you all will be looking forward to that video, the fish room tour. First one in quite a while. I haven't done a fish room tour in a while. There's been so many changes going on to this fish room and it's still not complete. The next fish room tour is still not like the end result. There's still a few more things I want to do to just finish this room and make it the way I want to. And I know fish room is never ever finished, but like the stands, I just want to get that built and done and 
right now it's it's not it's not complete it's not 100% but we'll still do a fish room tour and show you guys all the tanks and how everything is doing in this room be sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel and I'll see you guys next time